Hi there, and welcome to the Cotswold Explorer. I'm Robin Shuckborough, and Ross Widget and I are bathing in the wonderful golden light of the stone buildings of Chipping Camden. Uh, we're in the centre of town now, uh, having already filmed at the church, and we're going to visit some of the buildings here. We're going to talk about its history. Now, just below me here is a subscribe button. Press that, it's free, and we will keep you informed about all the films we make about the Cotswold villages. At the beginning of the 17th century, Sir Baptist Hicks endowed one of the finest examples of Cotswold stone almshouses to provide accommodation for six poor men and six poor women who were given an annual allowance of three shillings and fourpence, a frieze gown, a ton of coal and a felt hat. Albeit updated to meet 21st century requirements, they still provide inexpensive homes for 12 people. Originally, the water supply for the houses was from one outside tap, still visible in the wall of the pavement. Despite modernisation, however, their appearance remains almost completely unchanged. This terrific example of local market buildings was built in 1627 for the princely sum of £90 by Sir Baptist Hicks, who was a merchant, a money lender, and the first Lord Camden. It's a little startling how often we find, as we travel through the Cotswolds, that so many of the powerful people in the 14th and 15th centuries were payday lenders. The old silk mill in Sheep Street was built in 1780. It specialised in throwing or spinning silk and went some way to replacing the jobs lost in the collapse of the wool trade. After the silk business in turn collapsed in 1860, the mill closed, not to reopen until 1902, when the Guild of Handicraft part of William Morris's arts and crafts movement, relocated from London and set up shop. The silversmith Hicks is working in their original studio to this day. Probably occupied in the Bronze Age, and certainly familiar to the people of the Iron Age, Camden was settled by the Romans. West of the village at the foot of Dover Hill, there's evidence of Roman villas and what seems likely to be man-made terracing built for a Roman vineyard. Set in a natural amphitheatre formed by the folds of the Cotswolds, Dover Hill is the site of the annual Dover's Games, known nowadays as the Cotswold Olympics. They started in 1612, and apart from the odd hiatus as a result of the increasingly drunken behaviour of visitors, these games have been held ever since. Today they take place on the Friday following Whit Sunday and encompass many rural sports, including the ancient and painful activity of shin kicking. Well, it's been a very cold day in Shipping Camden on this January day in 2018, but we've had a wonderful time here. The glorious stonework of these beautiful buildings is so wonderful to behold. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The button is just by my feet. It's free, and we'll keep you posted about all the things we put up. Uh, we'll see you very soon.